Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is what movie adaptions have you enjoyed more than the book? Hmm. Tricky one that. I'm thinking about films that I really enjoyed and then trying to think of the ones that were actually adaptions of a book and the two that sprang to mind were Dune and Stalker. Now, I really like Dune. It's a great film. I've watched it. Well, not as often as Kyle MacLachlan, who was alleged to watch it at least once a year, but probably once every two to three years for a long time. I really like it. And I really like Dune, the novel. But I wouldn't say I liked one more than the other. Dune, the novel, is a complex political piece that goes into the meaning of being a hero. That if you can establish a galactic tyranny by overthrowing the current order, that will be a good thing is the fact that galactic tyranny is evil weighed against the good it does or not or is it weighed against the bad that would otherwise happen whereas the film is more of an action film and so i one or the other i like them both but for different reasons and similarly stalker which is based on the brother strigatsky's roadside picnic the book, Roadside Picnic, is again political. It's satire. It's about the subtleties of communism reframed as a science fiction narrative. Whereas Stalker, the film, is more about the horror of the world that it's set in, rather than the horror of communism, although the horror of communism is a strong part of the film as well, and it's more, it's more of a visual thing. So again, I like the film for its aesthetic, and because it's a strong story, but it's not as nuanced a story as the one in the book. And I like the book for the more complex psychological edges to some of things. So again, like them both, but for different reasons, which is pretty much where it comes down to it. Books and films are fundamentally different media. I, I read very fast, but a film's, what, two hours long? A novel takes me longer than two hours to read. And I read very fast. So a film is never going to be as detailed as a novel unless it's very long. And there aren't that many six-hour films out there. There are some art house ones, but most novels, if they're adapted into a film, will have a lot stripped out. Also, they're different media in terms of description. When you're reading a book, the author has an image in their head which they try to put into words and you then convert those words back into a picture. But you only get to see what the author tells you, and you only get to see in the way the author tells you. So things that come as a surprise to the narrator don't really work very well in books. Whereas in films, everyone gets to see the same thing. The actors look the same, the actions look the same, apart from very abstruse questions of perception and issues of 
human senses being part of a spectrum as opposed to identical, a film is a film. Everyone sees the same one. But surprises are easier to do. If you want the assassin who's chasing the narrator to be in the scene, you can have him in the background of the scene. And if people notice him, they notice him. If they don't, they don't. But in a book, that's much harder to do. So adaptions tend to be different from the book they were based on. Which is where finally I found an answer to situations where I prefer the film to the book. Which is where a book is made into a film, the film does really well, and instead of indulging in what I know is a very contentious process in the book reading community, the taking the original book and re-releasing it with a still from the film as the cover, and now a major blockbuster and so on, the film company decide to release the book of the film. So you've got the original book, the film, and then the book of the film. And almost always, during that double conversion process, something gets lost because you've stripped out a lot of nuance and then you're trying to put it back in again from a medium that isn't necessarily designed to go that way. So books that are based on films, generally I find them less deep, less nuanced than books that have been converted into a film. So that's probably my answer, but generally I enjoy both in the same way that I enjoy cheesecake and pickle. They're both cheese related products, but they're fundamentally different aspects of cheese tangentiality. And on that slightly wonky but very tasty metaphor, I'll leave you. Toodaloo!